Skin by Kim. Concept, the owner of the Skin Plus brand, previously filed a lawsuit against Kardashian and her partner, and that Kardashian's Skin by Kim brand was confusingly similar to the Skin Plus trademark. So Kim is yet again being exposed for using her influence to bring down and disregard fellow women in business just because she has money or because she can and doesn't care what the effects are. I mean, we have been seeing them doing so and this is not a surprise if you ask me. If I look at the details I have right Right now there is a certain lawsuit which was directed towards kim kardashian's skincare brand but if i look at how everything has been handled i will tell you this is not convincing yet again they have come out and bribed certain people they have been they have come out and used their influence so that they can bring down fellow women in business and if i look at the situation come on this woman does not have all the money kim has she is not so connected and all that but kim does not care if people are coming out with certain lawsuits against them they will always come out and bribe they will always come out and do whatever they want so that they can always win well if i look at what is really going on this is not fair and basically we are not we are going to be discussing each and everything i'm going to be giving you all the details so that you can really understand what is going on let me thank each and everyone that follows us on our channel you guys you are the best we will really appreciate you and please keep the love flowing so there is a certain lawsuit that was opened up against kim's skincare line skkn by kim that was last year and per reports right now it seems the judges have dismissed it completely but things are not just adding up kim and her mom chris jenner have yet again used their brave tactics to turn things in their favor let's first understand what really happened and even kim at a certain point she has always been coming out and she's like you know what everything I always want of course my mom is very very connected we can't fail to do anything and if I look at how this lawsuit has been conducted I will tell you things are just not fair most of that a small business owner came out and filed something against Kim and if I look at all the allegations if I look at what was really included in all this things would have worked in her favor but things have just turned around so a certain lady called Sydney and her legal team served Kim with a cease and desist later that was last July saying that Sydney's Brooklyn based company that is Beauty Concepts has provided salon and skincare services under the name SKKN since July 2017 so she came out and she was like you know what I was there and I saw Kim coming out with the same name that have been using since 2017 and possibly that was the name she was going to you know that was the name she opted for for her skincare line so she came out and took matters to court because she was not contented first of all she was like how are we going to be using the same name and basically if i look at the things she has been dealing with they are not far different from what kim kardashian's line really works on so basically she had all the rights to come out and say something she had all the, all the rights to come out and inform kim about the ongoing situation this is a black woman owned business that survived the pandemic and opened a store only to learn that kim was also launching her new skincare brand with the same name and per reports after reaching out to kim they were really ignored by kim and her team who just pushed ahead with the brand launch and this is what has been on my mind of late because she came out before kim coming out to launch her product you know on social media and all that she came out and warned her she came out and she was like you know what you have to change that name and have come out you know hurriedly so that you can't complain and you're like you know what she came late i had already you know launched and everything we couldn't change and all but if i look at kim's response automatically they just ignored this woman she tried contacting them she tried sending them several emails but on a lot of occasions they just ignored her they were like you know what she has nothing to tell us we have money we have influence she's just a small business owner and basically you can just imagine what the kardashians are always doing 
And guess what Kim's lawyer Rhodes responded with? These people are so mean and very, very self-centered. Let me first read you something which they replied with. They were like, applaud Miss Sydney for being a small business owner and following her dreams, but that, that doesn't give her the right to claim that we have done something wrong. We tried reaching out to beauty concepts and we pointed out that running a small business in Brooklyn does not give you the right to shut down a global skincare line do you even understand what this response means because they came out and disregarded this woman they were claiming that you know what you are just a small business owner you're not going to come out and tell us what to do if you feel offended if you feel that we are also using the same name come on close up and go do something else or even find another name because we are very very great than you we have a lot of money come on kim kardashian is a celebrity she's a billionaire and of course she can step on anyone just because of that well according the according to this response that is what exactly they were implying with because if they really cared about such women if kim kardashian was very very considerate about you know people coming out and earning a living people coming out and trying to make ends meet of course she would have compensated with her she would have sat down and understood sydney's situation but you can just imagine what that response really meant and if i look at details right now of course after kim and her mom threatening sydney with god knows what in a notice from the u.s district court for the eastern district of new york it states that beauty concepts informed the court that it was dismissing this lawsuit unfair competition and civil conspiracy that was against kim and her skincare line of course you are going to come out and scratch your head and you're like okay how Cam Sydney really accepted and came out and withdrew all that. I will tell you, they bribed everyone i will tell you they came out and threatened this woman of course kim and her mom and of course their legal team came out and they were like you know what if you don't if you don't let that case go of course we are going to go an extra mile and do something really really terrible we have been seeing these people coming out and threatening a lot of people ray j also came out and once exposed the kardashians they are always doing a lot of shady things behind closed doors and what do they do because if you tell me sydney right now is abruptly coming out and she's like you know what i'm going to remove everything oh my god i'm no longer going to complain and remember this is her business she earns a living from it and this only means that she has been defeated and the kardashians have really done something behind closed doors and also have you ever noticed that kim has never been defeated many people have been coming out and suing her plus her brands over the years but they always end up winning even though they are always to blame this means they bribe and in the process end up turning everything in their favor this is also something crucial have never seen anyone winning against the kardashians if i look at kim and her businesses of course over the years a lot of people have been coming out and you know reporting all this reporting this family taking matters to court but somehow somewhere of course the kardashians always win i will tell you this is not a coincidence they have a way they handle such things they bribe they use their influence and they are very very you know proud about all this because i look at such a powerful family coming out and putting down such women like sydney i even don't know what they contribute to society again why would you come out and threaten her because of something you did wrong will her business ever be the same how do we know they won't even do anything possible to crush it down that is also very very crucial because when i look at working hard and of course struggling and all that kim does not know what it really means this is the kind of a person who has really used her image in a very explicit way so that they can earn everything they have and possibly if i look at sydney this is a different case she struggled to put that business there and possibly she is going to be losing she is not going to be relevant just because kim kardashian is refusing to change the name of her brand that is also something really not good they would have done things in a different way what do you even think about all that please let me know all your comments but if you are me i think that was very unfair of them don't forget to follow us if you haven't